Welcome to the ITU Studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Jean-Pierre Offray, who is Director of Research Partnerships at the School of Business, George Mason University, USA, and also co-founder and vice president of the International Academy of CIO. Dr. Ofray, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, thank you, Max. It's a great pleasure being with you today and also being with uh, ITU for the week and contributing to the uh, ITU ICT for SDG project. Now, this year we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the ITU development sector. The ICT landscape has changed tremendously, as we know, in the past decades. ITU are also launching a new ICT for SDGs study. And I wanted to ask you, how do you think this study on ICT for SDGs will contribute to responding to many of today's challenges? Well, the, the, the changes in the landscape have provided uh, great opportunities. Uh, just in the last 25 years, um, many countries have uh, developed national fiber backbone networks. Uh, most countries now have national ICT plans. Uh, and, and, with, and also in the 25 years of the advent of uh, mobile and mobile broadband and internet. At the same time, some of the challenges ha have shifted too. There's been an increasing uh, urbanization, uh, increasing uh, preponderance of, of, of chronic illness. And, and with mobile phones and the internet and, and, and sensors uh, building upon these backbone networks, uh, countries now are, are well placed, and along with the um, private sector and, and civil society, uh, for addressing some of the challenges that they face. Uh, the, the UN and ITU, through the um, um, Sustainability Development Goals, ha have, have structured some of the challenges, and, and that too provides a, a means and a pathway for identifying how ICT can contribute. Now, there are several studies and debates on how ICTs are a key enabler to economic growth and innovation. Can you tell us more on the main outcomes of this study and its added value to the existing discussions and specifically its contribution to the UN Sustainable Development Goals? Well, what we're hopefully uh, building upon the, these previous studies and all of the, the wonderful work which has, has been done, uh, both at ITU and UN, but by many other uh, NGOs and private sector organizations, I, I think this study building upon the others has a, a focus or a greater focus on, on innovation and also uh, pathways both for the development part of the goals but also for the sustainability aspects. And finally, you are leading the experts work under Chapter 5, which uh, covers the challenges and opportunities of adopting a new ICT-enabled business models. Perhaps you could elaborate a little bit on the main findings of this chapter and how ICT can support innovative solutions to contributing to the SDGs. Um, with, with mobile and, and, and with mobile broadband, uh, there's a lot greater connectivity and, and accessibility and availability for technology for uh, populations uh, across the, the world. Um, so far, we've seen many different uh, approaches to, to business, uh, many different types of businesses, but, and also many different approaches to uh, government and, and, and government solutions to, to, to major problems um, in developed countries, but also Africa, Latin America, Asia. Um, and, and by building upon those, we think that the, um, there's great possibility for addressing some of the sustainability development goals, bringing real value to, to, to people um, all in a way that, that is economically viable and in a way that, that bridges and, and aligns the motivations of, of, of civil society, uh, private sector and private sector uh, profitability, uh, as well as government and government policy. Dr. Afray, well, thank you very much for sharing these uh, valuable insights with us, and we look forward to uh, the uh, report uh, being out very shortly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Max. Thank you.